Oh. Alright, we got it flipped over. We want to remove the battery. And we're going to open up this little door here to disconnect the wireless cables. No module is present here, so we'll just leave these open for removal later. Next, you want to remove the keyboard by unscrewing here. I'll just assemble here. Here. And there's one more right there. Take those screws out, and then we'll flip her over. Notice these screws don't come out. All the other screws do, except for these. Now let's flip her around. Okay, now we play Pop Goes the Weasel. We got one. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back on this tab. There's four plastic tabs, and then you just gently grab here. I mean, no effort at all. And then she's out. Go ahead and just push it out of the way. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, release right here and right here. Now that the keyboard has been removed, we want to unplug all the antennas here and uh, remove this card. Or maybe we can leave it in. Looks like we can leave the card in. And we got all these cables free. There's just two more that we uh, revealed in one of the first steps. And I'm going to go ahead and just pull those out now. Alright, I pulled them through the other side. They're easy to identify because they have little rubber knobs on them. And then you just gently take them out of the track. Next step is to remove the switch cover. So we're going to unscrew these three main screws here, here, and here. They all line up. That little guy, let's not worry about that little guy. Now that you got the screws out, you can remove this switch cover. Okay, now off with the switch cover. You're going to put your display all the way back and take your nail and it just comes right up. And unlike me, you probably want to use two hands. So that's what we're going to do. Pop goes the weasel. Uh, to get this big boy out, you just uh, remove it from the track. So it's like these notches right here. And then pretty much the same concept, just pull gently right from the top there. It's not a zip socket, so you don't have to get your nails underneath the tabs. And then right here is where all the Wi-Fi cables go. We're going to go ahead and take them out of the tracks right now. All right, looks pretty crazy, but uh, we've got all our wires free here. I got all these wires free here as well. So now we can start uh, taking off the display assembly. To start removal of the assembly, you want to close the lid. Uh, if you're worried about scratching the display, we're going to replace it anyway, so who cares, right? Alright, the first thing you want to do is there's going to be these little rubber covers right here. It might be hard to see in the camera, but uh, when I pop it out, ta da, there it is. Uh, there's also one over here. I'm going to go ahead and remove both of these rubber covers and then get to the screws underneath them. Alright, now that we got this screw and uh, this screw removed, uh, we're going to get rid of this guy and this guy on the, t on the bottom here and then uh, this Phillips screwdriver here. Now, since we're in a nitty gritty, get yourself a T8 Torx for these screws right here. Also, I used them over here. Once you got the screws on the bottom out, you want to flip it over, open it up again, and we're going to take out the hinge screws. Uh, they're easily identifiable because of the, uh, the metal right here. So you got one, one hiding up there, and then one right there, all over by it. It's lonesome. So three screws, and then we take the head off. Okay, now we're ready to take it off. So, uh oh. Oh no, it's still on here. Wait a minute. I missed another guy. These dang guides. Let me get that one out, then we'll take that off. And easy as pie comes right off. Now that we got the display part, now begins the fun. See all these rubbers? They all gotta come off except these two right here. These can stay. So we're going to take off six in total. Let's get these screws off and we'll see what's next. 
All right, this part you just have to take my word for it, but you're gonna split the assembly. So there's a little um, edge right here. So let me uh, peel this thing apart. It's real easy, just go along the edges. All right, using my trusty credit card, this one's a little bit tougher than I thought. I started on this edge right here, came right off with my nail, and I was able to get the card just a little bit in and then take it down. Uh, you could also use a guitar pick, but I get you get a little more grip on a card on the bottom. And yeah, those look like there are screws there, but there are no screws there. So we're good on the bottom. I'm just going to work on the top, and then we'll get back to you. And we have liftoff. Uh, the reason I was struggling on the top here is because it got adhesive right along where the webcam is. Uh, there's also adhesive here and here. So if you feel like you're you got a lot of pressure when you're pulling, uh, this is why. Alright, next step is you want to remove the panel from the assembly. Screw here, screw here, and screw here, screw here. Take those four out and then the panel should just pop right out. See right there where uh, the panel was screwed in? Sorry for blurry. Uh, you can just pull from the top here. You can do the same thing on there. So it's not going to fully fall out. But that's good. So we're going to cheat here. And um, to remove the actual screen, screw here, screw here, screw here. There's going to be four on each side, it looks like. And then we'll see what happens. Alright, you may want to be careful here, but I got uh, the hinges. I'm going to set they've been disassembled. And the display is flapping free. Now you do have to disconnect the display, so we're going to go under here. And there's the only cable you got to worry about. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this tape and peel it off the connector, and it just pops right off. Alright, so I've taken the tape off, which uh, pretty much... The old screen doesn't like when you do that. It's like a little bubble here. Uh, but we don't care, right? Because we're going to throw it away. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Perfect. All right, so now there's your gold connector, and we can get out our new screen. All right, here's our new p panel from LaptopScreen.com. It's going to have that same connector, hopefully in the same place of the screen we just removed. Um, all you really have to do is uh, press that connector in, you'll hear a slight little click. And you will take the existing tape and tape it down nice and tight. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and hook up our hinges again here. Try to make this uh, reassembly process pretty quick. So it's gonna take eight screws, four over here, four over here. Now this part is slightly unorthodox, but before we screw anything in, let's make sure this screen works, so. And they got the, uh, Monitor hooked up to the laptop. Look at that. She looks gorgeous. All right, it's back in place on the hinges. So it's nice and uh, screwed in there now. And then we're just gonna replace our four screws here. We got two here, and then two here for the hinges, and then we're gonna put the, uh, the bezel back on. Okay, we got our monitor secured. So now let's make it look a little nicer with the bezel. This will just pop back on, and then you got six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. And those little rubber caps. All right, we're going to do that real quick. I went ahead and uh, got all our rubbers back on. I didn't use any glue. I just used the existing glue. Make sure you use the same screw you took out when you could put them all back in. Also, double check your edges and make sure everything's nice and flush. All right, the screen's gonna just you know flop right in here line up with the grooves and we got three screws over here and we're gonna head and uh, just reattach the, the hinges so we can hinge back up and then we're gonna reroute our cables and um, put the keyboard back on we're almost done Whew, that wasn't very fun so uh, we had this cable here we put there fit nice in the tracks make sure you get those tracks plugs right in there and then you got six antennas or five antenna wires and then the microphone so run the wires all the way they were if you get one overlapped like this it's not going to really make a difference there's plenty of room here these are numbered on both the card and the wire so that's nice so just pop back on and remember we had to take the other two 
and push it through that hole so they come out the back of the laptop. So we're going to put the switch cover on next and then we're going to pop the keyboard back on. Switch cover pops right back on. This basically installs itself. It's just so bent and this laptop's aged so it's all nice and easy. That clips back on and good news we have no more screws on the top. All of it's in the bottom so I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and we're going to finish up. All right, remember we had six screws in the bottom. You had one here, four in the battery bay. You can see that, there's the other one. And then one on this side. And then there's two on the butt, which I haven't put in yet, but those come with the rubber covers. There's one hole, and then there's the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out. Got all those screws wrapped up. And on my sheets, we have no more screws. Next up is keyboard. This little guy is for that old school trackball and then, or the rubber thing. And then this is the actual keyboard, Zith. So I'm plugging it right here. I need two hands, so I'm gonna shut the camera off. I'm gonna do it right here. And then the little guy is right there. I'm gonna hook that up and then there's screws already hanging. Remember those don't come out for the keyboard. We're gonna go ahead and screw those in. Keyboard is in, check your corners. And then remember we had our four tabs here to push in. If you, They should go in nice and easy. If they don't, you don't have the keyboard down far enough. So we'll go ahead and flip it over and screw those screws back in for the keyboard. Three screws are in. Remember the keyboard symbol. One, two, and three. And now these have already been routed. They can just, you can just smush them in with the, the bay door. So we're gonna put that door back on. Um, and that's it. I'm gonna put the battery in and fire it up. Now the moment of truth. Ta-da! And that's it. 